Are you wondering whether or not you should update to the latest driver 537.58? Well, if so, then this video is for you. Because in today's video, I'll be comparing the previous driver versus the latest driver. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, so as mentioned in the intro, in this video, I'll be comparing the latest driver 537.58 versus the previous driver 537.42. So guys, I always do a split screen comparison uh, when a new driver comes out. It's how I get the most of my subscribers on the channel. But the caveat is that because I use recording software, the results are always slightly skewed. So that's why I need to do these videos where I capture, uh, where I benchmark the games without any recording software so that's what you're watching at the moment but guys if i could just ask you um if you subscribe to the channel please just make certain that you have that little notification icon selected so that when i do drop a new video you are notified instantaneously and please to my subscribers please like the video it really will help to those of you that aren't subscribed if this video helps you by the end of the video please consider subscribing and obviously hitting that notification icon dropping a like and then I've got on my homepage, I have optimizations. This is a video on how to unlock undervolting if you've got a 10 gen and newer CPU. This is for 9 gen and older. Um, there's videos on throttle stop. There's videos on MSI afterburner. You can go nuts with the performance optimizations. But guys, just getting to the, the topic at hand, the latest driver, I will put a link in the description of the video for the, the Game Ready Driver Forum. Um, as you can see, uh, fixed general bugs, fixed general bugs, increased DPC latency may observed. So um, they've, uh, this latest driver actually has less DPC latency, which you'll be able to notice from the results, which I'll get to in a second. I will link this in the description so you can just go through all the complaints, blah, 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 blah. But I can guarantee you now the latest driver is actually quite a good driver. Okay, so just getting to that benchmark. Or getting to the results I, I compared the previous driver that i recommended 537.34 versus the previous driver um, or the last driver just before the latest driver 537.42 versus the current driver 537.58 so guys this driver i did highly recommend it had very good one percent lows um, at a good average fps so what you can see is when I add over 12 games, when I add up all the average FPS, I get to a total average FPS of 830. And then when I add up all the 1% lows, my 1% low totals come to 580. I used to recommend this driver and you'll see why in a second I don't anymore. The, the last driver that came out about two, three weeks ago, it wasn't a driver I recommended. Um, it actually took a step back in terms of 1% lows. As you can see, over those same 12 games, I've got lower average FPS and I've got lower 1% lows. So 537.42 was not a driver I recommended. I, a driver I wholeheartedly recommend at the moment, I'd actually say it's my preferred driver, is the driver that came out yesterday, 537.58. Because as you saw from that Game Ready um, driver forum, the DPC latency has improved as well as uh, you can see that the 1% the lows are actually the highest, not much higher than 537.34, but when you factor in the DPC latency being better, it just makes this latest driver such a good proposition. Um, also the temperatures, uh, when I recorded that video that I did yesterday, I had a problem with the kernel um, that was causing a little bit of extra CPU usage, so uh, it looked like this latest driver, the temperatures were much higher, that's not the case. The temperatures are fantastic on 537.58. Do I recommend the driver? You bet your damn ass I do. Good date, good DPC latency, good average FPS, good 1% lows. Bob's your uncle. Download the driver. Wait for shaders to build and have a good day. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And guys, as always, for those of you that haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. It's almost the weekend. It's the middle of the week. Have a fantastic day. Cheers.